um, creative stuff. What is creative stuff? Mosaic or stencil or whatever it is. In visual way, we're gonna create some creative stuff. I wanna show you some examples and ask you some questions about this. Good morning, 3rd of January 2018, 9am. That wall, definitely that wall. That's, that's the stage for the concert over there. And definitely that wall over there. I took two samples of this because I'm gonna spray off this stuff. I will just check if the spray, if it will suck up the spray, you know, you can't even see the color after. So I'm gonna check it at the studio. We have also this walls over there for smaller, for letters and stuff bar will over here I made some monkeys over there you know like you know like a monkey with a microphone could be nice or a monkey with with some speakers you know that one another columns are here for another monkeys the monkeys idea sounds great I'm done with this for today what now if you watch it yesterday's vlog I am close to get commissioned by a company who are creating a, a even space a even space for concerts and stuff as you saw at the intro at on this vlog so I need to create some stuff and that's why I thought about why don't we talk about creating what is creative art because of I'm a mosaic artist and stencil artist and stuff so this stuff looks like pump it up balloon almost is this it's mosaic that stained glass mosaic i made it and i painted over to give it a look like almost a balloon i just used this very old i don't know what it, this was for that surface i used that surface and glue it on and blah blah the vlog is somewhere in the channel i don't know where it is you can if you want to watch it you can go and find it let me show you that one okay is that creative art ready to making a banana a colorful banana and then i just find out i noticed that it looks already like a high heel so i turn it into a high heel and color but if you put it like this ouch this will look like a high heel or something so i'm gonna change it hold on i'm gonna change the whole design right now i don't know if it's a good idea or not but I'm gonna try. This plate of this work, I made it with a pen that's mosaic and spray painting over. So can we call that creative? Creative art? Who knows? Okay, what about this bowl? Is this creative art? That one is also a piece that I made for the London Art Fair. The Parallax Art Fair uh, was, I guess, yeah, last year. And I thought, make a heart like that and I turn it into a normal heart. And so is this creative art? So what about that one? Is this creative art? What about this bunny? Just, you know, he broke that stained glass over there for no reason. He looks very angry and stuff. His head is kind of, you know, like, is this creative art? That was a piece I made. I used stained glass mosaic, spray painting over and I tag it a lot and I make some colors and stuff. And it was to attract tension about the global warming. Can we call this creative art? I'm asking myself. What about these things here? That's, uh, you know, a train with some graffiti on, which I made while using stained glass tiles and I spray paint them over. And now we have that train. Gold colored carvings from uh, the prehistorical blah blah time and stuff. What about that one? That's also a train. Is this creative art? Or this police car? What about this police car? So because of I'm still learning, I guess I can say creative art is 
something where you use some materials and you're trying to write a story with it. Let me explain about this sample, that last, you know, which looks almost like a balloon. What was that? It was about because I was lost and I just let's celebrate it by this way. Is it about the material? It's not about the material. Maybe yes, because it's cool when you use glass mosaic, stained glass mosaic and spray paints and pencil together. It makes it a bit of creative. This is the first part to be produce a creative art. But the most important thing is, as I understood, understand, whatever, you know what I mean. Writing a story. No matter it's, it's your story or it's something what you're familiar with, whatever, any story. It turns to a story. It's also a way to go. It turn it to a high heel and with a banana on or in, you know, you go like, what the... Okay, there is one more thing. What about that one? Is that creative art? Or why it should be creative? Why it should be called creative? So, um, um, don't get me wrong. I'm just asking questions. I'm not going to tell anyone it's creative art. This is creative art and all the rest is not. No, I'm not telling. This is not the way that I want to go. But... What's that creative art? You know, what I have learned creative about the explanation of creative art is when I made something in someone's, you know, when I commission it, like this project, this dancer project, I'm not uh, commissioned it yet. After they saw the ideas, they will say, that's cool, that's sweet, that's nice, that's funny. We sign and you are commissioned it. We're gonna pay you, you can start to stenciling. We're gonna film everything. Everything will be in the vlog as soon as they decide to give me this commission. After all these years, what I've learned is creative, being creative, producing something creative in the art way, mosaic stencil, visual art way, is after you have done it, when the owners, architects, whatever, when they come or when people goes inside that place and when they have this kind of not, wow, how, how possibly can he make something like this? in technical way i'm not sure but it's more in more effective when you make something very simple but it has a whole story in it so for example this columns which you saw at the beginning of the video the first one i saw it i thought okay that's an even place to make some smaller size concerts so it must be kind of funky not people with tuxedos will be pop up there. There will be people like, you know, like dancing and stuff. Just imagine a, a monkey, real, a real monkey. Uh, I, made it, I will make it with uh, spray, by the way, a stencil work. A monkey is, you know, like uh, on that column like this. I don't know how to call that. He climbed on that column. He's staying there looking down maybe or looking to that other column which was at the opposite they are symmetric there are four columns wow four columns okay let's say four columns four monkeys and they have a conversation each other like you know what they are doing or something like that and we can might give some of them one of them a microphone that other one can be dressed very cool and like you know converse stuff shoes will be looking very good on a monkey and you know they can have maybe um, you know speakers around their around their belly and stuff so is that creative art i don't know but it's one thing I know, when people will see it, they will have fun. You know, when they see it, they will get touched somehow. Because the story is, you are creating, you are doing, you are designing something almost impossible. You know, you never see a monkey in the forest and with speakers and, you know, like that, with a microphone. It's almost impossible in a natural way. Oh, but what about today's suggested art videos of mine? Today, 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 to, to cover one of the vlogs that we made, I guess last week, I'm not sure. We was talking about signing the work um, and the front of the work. And you know, when you turn, it, turn the back side of the work, you will see some uh, names and locations and date 
who are actually owners, the older owner or the new owner of that particular work. So today's my suggested art video will be what happened when you're not even sign your work. Also like a documentary movie, suggested video has to do with a, uh, with a street artist. Uh, I don't want to talk too much right now. You have to check it. It's very funny and very serious reality what happens when you're not sign your stuff. Okay, see you at the next vlog. Kiss. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Kiss is good. The kiss was good. What about my videos? I want to have some videos from you. Five seconds to 30 seconds about why are you on this channel? Who are you? What kind of art you make? Your location? Like that. I want to put it in a vlog. But I still didn't receive anything. It's quite simple.